When you're looking to set up Wi-Fi in a business, you want something easy and simple. I have three products here from HP Networking Instant On, which is formerly known as Aruba Instant On. My name's Monty and welcome to Inside Wire. I have three different scenarios that I'm going to be showing you today. I have two Wi-Fi 6 access points and one Wi-Fi 6E. First we start with the Wi-Fi 6 access point. So you've got to think about the scenario you're going to be using this in. And the good thing about these products is it allows you to set multiple SSIDs. So in this business specifically, there is handheld devices that are being used, laptops and tablets. So on the back just here, if we take a closer look, you have a PoE input. You do have a 12 volt input as well and also a console cable and this can do Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. So this does all the way up to Wi-Fi 6. Finally, the data throughput rate for this is 1500 megabits per second. So it can take in a decent amount. However, just remember you are limited by your gigabit ethernet uplink just here. The next one is a Wi-Fi 6E access point. So this one's probably more for your high volume traffic areas and things that are leveraging the latest technology which require higher bandwidth. So more specifically for laptops, phones, etc. So this does Wi-Fi 6E. And the difference with this one is it has a two and a half gigabit link upload speed. The maximum throughput rate for this is 2.8 gigabits per second. And it has a two by two multi in, multi out. In terms of getting it mounted, there's this bracket right here, which you can use for screws. And it comes with an ethernet cable. Both of these brackets are exactly the same for both this access point and the previous one. And finally, this one is another Wi-Fi 6 one but this one's a little bit different than the other two. This is a standing one, which comes with a mount right here to be stood up, or if you wanted to wall mount it, you could wall mount it on here as well. The other thing with this is it can use PoE++, and it has four ethernet ports on the bottom of here. If you use PoE+, you won't get any additional power. However, if you use PoE++, there are two additional ports which can give out 15 watts worth of PoE, and that can be for another access point, or phone, or even a printer. Getting these installed are really easy and simple. You just go ahead and click this in. And once it's clicked in, you'll hear that. And then you just go ahead and take your network cable and plug it in like so. In this area, we have a large area to cover. However, in this specific scenario, we need to cover this main open area as that's where the devices are gonna be used. This is the Wi-Fi 6E access point and we have a bigger surface area to cover here and there's space on the other side as well. This is gonna be a higher volume of traffic in this area. So we're gonna try and place this around the middle as much as we can. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this up here like so and we go ahead and grab the network cable and pop this in you'll know when you've got power because you'll see a light that pops up on here just like so and finally we're going to go ahead and plug this wi-fi access point in. so as i mentioned there's four ports at the bottom of this that you can go ahead and use for your office space so when you have telephones or anything like that you get the additional poe power through this so if we go ahead now and plug that one in we now need to go ahead to the portal of aruba's website so portal.arubainstanton.com we go into here and then we just sign in if you haven't signed in go ahead and sign up once you've successfully signed in there's just five simple steps to get this set on so this really is called instant on for a reason the simple steps you need to pick are just clicking continue on the initial setup then we pick up the topology, so access point switch or switch and access points. We only have access points today. Then you can choose your connectivity. Are you connected straight to your network or is it connected directly to your modem and supplied by your ISP? We plug the device in, we click continue. We type in the serial number of the three devices that we have. And you can see we found all three devices here. So we want to click add and then we're going to give this a network name and password. So we're going to go with floor area. We click continue and then we want to give it a site name. So I'm just going to call this inside wire demo for now. And then we go ahead and activate the site. Once you're in, you can see you're greeted with a very simple control panel. You have networks, clients, inventory and applications. So we'll quickly run through the inventory and networks. You'll find all your clients connected in here. You're able to have watch list clients and block clients. So if you need to do anything on your network specifically to watch them, and then you have the applications, which shows you all the applications that have been using the data within the last 24 hours. We then jump into inventory and these are the devices that we have connected right now. So how long they've been connected and what the topology looks like. Once you make any configuration changes, this state will change to synchronizing as it will be sending the new data across to the access point for it to be able to display whatever you need it to do. So let's go back to networks. And this is where most of the stuff happens. So we have floor area, for example, 
And let's go ahead and create a couple of other networks. So now we have a bunch of networks created. We have the basic information on here, which is the number of clients, the data transferred, and the VLAN IDs. So you can go ahead and change these. I'm not gonna go into the back end of the networking side and the subnets. This is more just for the wireless access points. If we open up one of these SSIDs, you can see whether it's active, whether you wanna use a radius or just a straightforward password and WPA2, WPA3 compatible. And there's a load of tick options on here. So whether you wanna show the SSID, optimize for video streaming, limit the bandwidth or multiple clients being used at once. Again, this is where I mentioned you can choose multiple VLAN IDs. So you'd need to go ahead and create the wired network on here and then you can assign the VLAN. And then you can choose 2.4, 5, or extend the 2.4 range as well. You can set up some schedules, network access, so restricted or unrestricted, network assignments, so which SSIDs you wanna push this out to, and then finally the application. So if you wanna block any specific content on here, you can go ahead and do that. So overall, you can see this right here is really easy to set up, really easy to set out your SSIDs, and you can get this deployed in a matter of minutes. And you have the option to get the configuration how you need it. Once the configuration is all complete, you can see from here, we have the various options that we have for the SSID. So all those different configurations you can have within individual SSIDs. And there you have it. That's the easy and simple configuration of these access points and the use cases around them. Let me know your thoughts down in the description below. Are these some, something that you would implement in your business or even roll out? Did you find it easy and simple to switch on? And there are other options available. So don't think that there are only these three. There's a wide range of access points for different scenarios that you may need. If you found this video useful, remember hit the like and subscribe button and the links are down in the description below. For now, this is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.